All right, let's get some more on this. Jaco Van Loon is an associate professor of astrophysics at Keele University, as well as the director of Keele Observatory in the UK, and he joins us now from Cheshire. Uh, Jaco, good to have you on. Now, China joins the U.S. and Russia as the only countries to have landed on a rover on, on the moon, but it's the first to land on the side that perpetually faces away from Earth. Why is this significant, and why has it taken nearly 50 years for humans to land there? Yes, it is. Uh, well, first of all, it's a, it's a challenge to land on that side of the moon uh, because uh, you can't see the Earth. So it means you can't communicate directly with the Earth. And when you make the final uh, touchdown, you have to be very careful where you, exactly you're going to land. Um, now, what the Chinese do is that they use a satellite at a different point and relay via that satellite to the lander. Um, but that, that still takes 10 seconds each way. So in the end, the land had to do this all autonom autonomously. Uh, so decide for itself where exactly to land. And that has been successful for the first time. So this is the challenge. Now, the reason to land on that side of the moon is because the Earth is out of the way. You have uh, an undisturbed view of the universe. So you can, for instance, uh, uh, do very sensitive measurements of uh, radio waves coming from space. Um, and also you can study uh, the impact from uh, small meteorites and uh, energetic particles on the surface of the moon. Because the surface of the moon that's facing us is, is in a way protected uh, against that. I think you, you talked a little bit about it, but if you could just sort of enlighten our viewers, how different are the two sides of the moon? So the side that's always facing us, because uh, the moon spins at the same time as it orbits us, that side um, has uh, some features which are quite smooth. Uh, it's where, where the, the surface uh, well, was liquid for a bit longer. And, and since it solidifies, it hasn't, hasn't been uh, changed very much. But the other side, the moon, is, is com constantly um, um, facing uh, space and, uh, and uh, the meteorites and, and energetic particles. So that surface has been changed over time. And the first picture that we have seen from this lander shows the surface, not, not yet at, in, in the detail that we're going to see, uh, but it already shows a, a, a very um, um, eroded surface uh, from, from those impacts. So this is something that's very interesting to study because it shows what the space environment really does to objects in space. Uh, but the other reason is uh, that, um, um, as you, you said in your introduction, um, the land landed in a huge basin. The moon was hit by something that almost uh, destroyed the moon uh, more than four billion years ago. And something like that also happened to the Earth, which created the moon in the first place. Um, so the hope is that material from inside of the moon has come to the surface and, and the, the lander can, can study that, the, the rover that, that's going to uh, go around uh, and, and sample um, the, the, um, the surface is, is going to study that material. And on the, and on the front of the, the moon, we haven't been able to do that. Okay. All right. Jacob van Loom, the director of Keele Observatory, thank you very much for joining us here and explaining that.